Hello everyone, that's here back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at Zac 23 version 6.4 for Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So when we go to about phone software information you can see that uh, nothing new over here. Android 7 data with Samsung Experience version 8.1. So I updated uh, to Moro Kernel version 1.9 because uh, the ROM came with uh, an older version. So a uh, link to this into the description. Also, it comes with the latest uh, 1st of uh, August uh, security patch, but over here it says 1st of May, so don't take a look at uh, this, it's actually the August one. So, first of all, games uh, have been has been fixed, so uh, no more a uh, black screen over here, as you can see, I'll close them, and uh, you can see that everything is uh, working uh, perfectly, which is uh, really nice. So, uh, next thing is that a couple of uh, S Note 8, sorry, Things have been added, so for example, air command, which uh, I can't make to work, I don't know why, it's uh, not even in Magisk, so when I go to Magisk Super User, you can see that uh, it's not over here, so um, I'll try to uh, figure out a way to uh, this uh, to work, so, uh, and also a couple of uh, Note 8 applications, uh, which uh, I couldn't find, so uh, I didn't find any change, so I went uh, through the calendar, calculator and uh, everything, but uh, it seems uh, everything is uh, the same as before. You have a uh, game tuner, so um, this is provided with game launcher. This basically is uh, some kind of a game center for your games. You can uh, change uh, almost everything for your games over here. I'm not uh, going uh, through this right now. So uh, let's go to Sac23's uh, settings application, the ROM control, if I only can find it. Yes, yeah, so a couple of interesting things over here are that when you go to notification panel um, let me just take a look at it so um, it must be into this option so uh, basically nothing uh, is uh, really changed over here just a couple of things well from so many options I can find the one I'm searching here so here is status bar cover right now you have the dynamic status bar uh, cover so basically it will change uh, with uh, whichever application you are. So for example over here you can see the top is uh, red, so uh, it's red and uh, if I go to settings it's uh, kind of white. So uh, it uh, changes with every application. This is uh, the first change in the, the ROM control application. Uh, the second one is that when you go to virtual buttons, if I can uh, find this uh, too. So let me just take a look over here, virtual buttons, so there, here they are. You can see that I've uh, set uh, Bixby voice and S music. This can be turned on, I've turned it for the center side. So uh, Bixby is fully working, just uh, to tell uh, this over here. So uh, everything is uh, working perfectly with uh, Bixby. So uh, you can see that if I go to Bixby voice, it's working in full screen. And if you want to activate it, if I press once, it will start playing music. But uh, if I hold on it, you can see that uh, I've opened uh, Bixby voice and probably this is the first time it understands uh, almost everything I say so you can see that it's working for example turn on easy screen on and you can see that it's working it also has a feedback but I've turned on my uh, media volume to zero so uh, everything is uh, working uh, perfectly with Bixby and Bixby Voice and right now you have uh, the opportunity to activate it uh, with the virtual button. You can't activate it with uh, either one of uh, those keys but uh, probably this will be fixed uh, soon. So um, basically these are uh, the things uh, that were changed also. There were into the camera application, uh, it, there is a fix for uh, where video and uh, photos couldn't uh, focus uh, where uh, they should but right now it's uh, working uh, perfectly. So uh, also Bixby Vision is uh, fully working as you can see over here. I'm uh, sure about that because everything uh, with uh, Bixby related is uh, working uh, perfectly. Yeah, so as you can see Bixby uh, is uh, working uh, fully. So this is something really nice. Uh, this ROM is uh, very stable so far. Of course I can't uh, tell about the battery life because this ROM is uh, like a couple of hours old. So I can't uh, tell uh, nothing about it. Of course I'm going to uh, debug Bixby and all those stuff because right now I can't find any use of it. So a couple of things I don't like about it is that uh, when you go to the camera application and uh, go to settings and uh, over here you can see that there is a quick launch and if I make it to uh, press power key twice it uh, is not working so uh, you can see that uh, 
it just does nothing and uh, I've uh, done it to work in the home screen via the ROM control application but if you have it on a hard press home button twice you can see that it's uh, going to work so uh, it's uh, working uh, perfectly with this one can't say why and also there is uh, some delay when clicking uh, the buttons you can see over here and uh, I don't know why but uh, Actually, I know why this is because of the uh, ROM of this uh, ROM control application. The key mapping mode is uh, making uh, the keys slower. So, for example, you can see I can make it uh, to this. So, like you wait uh, too much time for this, but uh, I don't know why there is a key mapping mode. I've talked to Sad, probably he's uh, going to fix it. So, basically, this is it uh, for this video. If you want uh, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down into the comments section. So, uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you soon.